Welcome to Things You Should Like, a cultural podcast about things that deserve to be loved by everyone. Topics covered include artworks, songs, texts and books, people, places, food, objects, and memories. Hosted by Miguel Maroon. A show about the good things in life with an emphasis on arts and culture. For both new discoveries that deserve to be shared and for random knowledge that Miguel has accumulated throughout life. For curious minds that want to know more and experience the world through the eyes of others. About what is good and nice to the point that it makes life feel more simple and therefore more pleasurable and better. Welcome to the very first episode of Things You Should Like. Today we are going to be talking about a painting, more precisely, a tiny detail in a painting by Joseph Mallard William Turner. The painting is War, the Exile and the Rock Limpet, and it is precisely that rock limpet that we are going to be focusing on. The main theme of this bright post-apocalyptic painting by Turner is the figure at the very center of it, Napoleon. I have always been fascinated by his life story and Turner painted this episode from the end of Napoleon's life, about the last chapter of his life. After the Battle of Waterloo, Napoleon was left alive but condemned to depart into exile. The place of his destination is a small Atlantic island of St. Helena. St. Helena was discovered by the Portuguese in the beginning of the 16th century and has been populated since then. It is a very charming island, with plenty of vegetation, but isolated nonetheless. It has, for a long while, been a British possession. I find it very intriguing about the depths that Napoleon must have sunk into when, after being himself born in an island, namely Corsica, he became the most powerful man as Emperor of France, and then he gets to spend his last years overlooking the ocean in the middle of the Atlantic. Turner painted him in full military dress, something that he required his guests to wear when he organized dinners in St. Helena. Just behind him, you can see one of his followers, equally dressed in military regalia, a phantom of days gone by. But it is what is in front of Napoleon that intrigues me, the small rock limpet, an innocent mollusk that looks ancient and that looks underdeveloped when put next to a man that dare to conquer the earth, from invading Russia to causing mayhem in Egyptian campaigns, he fought great naval battles, but in front of him is just a small pound, not even fit for a small fish. The limpet is just an imperfect animal, almost static in its evolution, glued to a rock and immovable in its desire. Take a look at two other details, the broken bridge with its rotten wood and the shape of the canvas itself, an octagon. Turner painted War, the Exile and the Rock Limpet after Napoleon's ashes were returned to France. And contrary to the title, there is no war, just the aftermath of it and the emptiness of the losing side. Napoleon has this ghostly presence, still with a follower, but with nothing to look at but his own reflection, in what Turner inscribed in the painting as a sea of blood. In the end, all this megalomaniac had in front of him was not an army, but a rock limpet. Napoleon has his arms crossed, as if contemplating the inoffensive creature that is laying on the ground, but it is not like nature will bring a change. Destiny brought them together there, side by side, with the same aspirations, that is, none. Water can make colors disappear, according to the depth, but it is not common to see the blood-red surface as you see in this painting. The warmer the colors, the faster the water molecules absorb their colors. Just 5 meters deep, all reds disappear and they are no longer seen. They mix themselves with the blue ooze and they disappear. As you go further down, yellow tones disappear at 15 meters deep and so on and so forth, until all you have left is the blue shade we associate with the ocean, but which surprises when we grab a cup of water as it has no color. 
Even that has an ending, as the bottom of the ocean is not blue, but a place of total darkness. Either by will, if a limpet can have one, or by movement of the water, Napoleon and the limpet share their solitude. Each is part of a larger group, but it is impossible that, if consciousness allowed, they did not feel isolated. On the painting, the sun is going down, and we can see the reflection that the sunset creates of this figure in the water. The limpet has a reflection too, so they might not be perceived as much different. Who is there to look anyway? The aide that stands behind Napoleon surely doesn't need to remember him of his past. This scene is almost an anti-war painting. After all the bloodshed, everything was in vain, with no purpose. Napoleon was made to live in Longwood House while in exile in St. Helena, but it was a destitute and inhospitable place that only aggravated his health conditions, ultimately causing his death. The limpet's habitat is on the rocks, exposed to the elements and to predators too, but all the battles seem pointless when everything is already lost. The tide will rise and all will be washed away. Like the limpet, the self-appointed emperor is also stuck in a rock, in this case a volcanic rock in the middle of nowhere. Thank you for listening to Things You Should Like. Please leave a good review on your preferred platform if you enjoyed the show. And you can also follow us on Instagram at Things You Should Like Podcast.